Hey, John Schultz here. Thanks for joining me for part two of this VMware Cloud Foundation and Site Recovery Manager demo. In part one, we failed over from the VMware data center in Washington to the IBM Cloud data center in San Jose. And for the second part, we're going to reprotect those virtual machines by reversing the replication. And then we're going to fail that series of virtual machines back over to the VMware data center in Washington. Uh, one thing that you'll note is that we're going to leverage the original VMDK files that existed in the uh, VMware data center in Washington. So we're only going to need to replicate the differences between um, the virtual machines that exist now and, and when they migrated. Another th point here is that we're leveraging VMware NSX and vSAN for this deployment. NSX is providing us the uh, VPN uh, configuration on the VMware side as well as the software side. In addition, we're also using VXLAN segments that we've created on both sides and bridging those across. So uh, the critical VM05 on the right-hand side can communicate to the virtual machines on the left-hand side uh, during this process after they recovered. So the recovery is complete. This was uh, phase one. So what we'll do here for phase two of this series, we're gonna go ahead and reprotect the virtual machines uh, that exist now in the software data center so that we can fail them back to the VMware data center in Washington. We'll go ahead and kick off that replication. And like I said, we're gonna be able to leverage the original VMDK files that existed and simply do a differential replication. So we're not having to uh, do the replication from the beginning. So we'll use that original VMDK as a seed. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at the vSphere replication as it's going. We're currently looking at the web client for the VMware side of the house. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the vSphere replication. We should have some incoming replications that have started. And you can see uh, we're currently working on that initial full sync. It's at 9%, so it's well on its way. Uh, because we're using VMware Cloud Foundation on both sides of this uh, equation, we're able to leverage the vSAN deployment to get down to a five minute RPO uh, between sites. So that's what we're demonstrating here is the, uh, the five minute RPO uh, and that recovery point between the two sites. So we'll go ahead and let this replication progress. Now that we're done with that, we've sped it up. It looks like it took about six minutes based on the, on the clock there to protect these three virtual machines. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the recovery now. And so again, we're failing back. We failed over from VMware to SoftLayer in the first part of this series. Now we're gonna fail back from SoftLayer into our VMware data center here in the second part. And we're not gonna do a planned migration this time. We'll do the disaster recovery and we'll go ahead and kick that off. So like I said, uh, let's open a console to critical VM05 and start a ping to critical VM01, which is gonna be uh, one of the three virtual machines that we're recovering at the alternate site. So you can see they're in the same data center by the ping time. When it stops, I'm gonna start a clock so we can see exactly how long it takes for us to uh, power this off and power it on at the other site. And it looks like it's stopped there. So let's go ahead and start the timer and see how long it takes to recover VM01 at the DR site. Uh, so what's happening right now is the replication is stopping the VM is being powered down and it is being powered up at the DR site. So again, we're failing from soft layer into the VMware data center. Uh, we're able to maintain consistent IP information. So no changes are required within the, the guest OS or to the application that's making the, the failover occur here. And there you can see it just came back online. So let's stop the timer. It looks like it took about 37, 38 seconds for the VM to recover. So uh, fairly quick recovery time there between two data centers. You can see the ping time has increased as an indicator that the VM is now uh, at the VMware data center. So as you can see from the diagram, uh, we have failed back from the IBM Cloud software data center in San Jose to the VMware data center in Washington. Thanks for joining me for this two-part series highlighting Site Recovery Manager using VMware Cloud Foundation at both sites. VMware Cloud Foundation, of course, is based on vSphere, NSX, and vSAN.